We can all agree that neurons are the superheroes of the nervous system, sending messages through your body faster than a speeding bullet, processing action potentials more powerfully than a locomotive, able to leap neurotransmitters over synapses in a single bound. But before you look up in the sky shouting, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's super neuron, Let's take a look behind the scenes and meet the supporting cast of characters that allow the neurons of steel to do what they do best. Introducing the neuroglia. Neuroglia are supporting cells that make up half of the volume of your nervous system. In fact, you have five to 25 times more neuroglia than neurons. Like neurons, most neuroglia have a central cell body and branching processes. However, they are much smaller in size than neurons, and they carry out a variety of different functions. If the neuron is the star of the show, the neuroglia are the star's entourage. They are the unsung heroes, providing support and protection for neurons in the central and peripheral nervous systems. Neuroglia don't get a lot of attention, but without them, it would be difficult for your neurons to do their job. Neuroscience currently identifies four main functions of neuroglial cells although new rules are constantly being discovered. First, neuroglia surround your neurons and hold them in place, providing a general support structure or scaffolding framework for the cells. Second, neuroglia control the environment around your neurons, making sure they get the nutrients and oxygen they need while limiting their exposure to dangerous substances. Third, your neuroglia insulate your neurons and speed up the electrical impulses they are sending. And finally, neuroglia act as the protectors and cleanup crew for the nervous system, destroying pathogens and removing dead neurons and debris. Today you will meet the six neuroglia types that together carry out all of these functions. Four of the neuroglia are found in the central nervous system, your brain and your spinal cord. Think of these as the inner circle of the neuron entourage. The other two types are found in the peripheral nervous system, or PNS. They're not quite cool enough to hang out with the inner circle. Think of them as the interns on the set. We'll take a look at the CNS neuroglia first, and then learn how the PNS neuroglia carry out some of the same functions. The four types of neuroglia found in the central nervous system are the microglia, astrocytes, ependymal cells, and oligodendrocytes. Try saying that one three times fast. The microglia make up the extremely important security team for your neurons. They are the least numerous and smallest of the neuroglia, but don't let their size fool you. These cells have oval bodies with long spiny processes that allow them to move around the CNS. They aren't just keeping your neurons safe from the paparazzi. Microglia are specialized macrophage cells. They patrol your brain and spinal cord, seeking out danger and damage. And when they find it, they eat it. They destroy pathogens, dead or diseased cells, and they remove the garbage. Think of your microglia as the bodyguards and janitorial services for the central nervous system. If the microglia are the neuron's bodyguards, the astrocytes are the neuron's agent and manager rolled into one. Astro means star, and not only are these cells shaped like stars, they also carry out multiple roles to support the star of the show, the neuron. Astrocytes are the most numerous and most versatile of the neuroglia, and they have a lot of responsibilities. Like any good manager, the astrocyte controls the neuron's surroundings, making sure the neuron is in a healthy environment and well supported. The astrocyte adjusts the composition of the interstitial fluid, the fluid surrounding the neuron. It regulates ions like potassium, transports nutrients, and recycles neurotransmitters to make sure that your neuron has exactly what it needs to be most effective. If your neurons want green M&Ms and Red Bull backstage, your astrocytes are the cells to make it happen. Your astrocytes also provide structure for your neurons. They contain a large number of microfilaments, which make them a strong supporting framework for the central nervous system. 
Tiny little feet leave the astrocytes' processes and grab onto neurons and capillaries, bracing and anchoring the neurons and connecting them to their supply line. Astrocytes also regulate which substances can cross from the blood vessels into the fluid surrounding your neurons. Limiting the permeability of the capillaries helps keep the neurons safe from potentially harmful substances. This restricted access is known as the blood-brain barrier. It's like the velvet rope barrier along the red carpet that keeps the general public away from the star. Finally, a good manager guides his star to pick the best roles for his career. Astrocytes guide the development of your neurons, playing a role in synapse formation, memory, and learning. And if your neurons are injured, despite the best protection, your astrocytes help with structural repair, making sure the show can go on. And as if that wasn't enough, your astrocytes also secrete chemicals to help another type of neuroglia do its job. These are the oligodendrocytes, aka the costume designer and special effects crew for the neuron. These are the cells that dress up your neuron and allow it to communicate faster than a speeding bullet. Oligodendrocytes have fewer processes and less branching than astrocytes. Each process spreads out like a thick, flat pancake and then wraps around and around bundles of axons, forming a protective and fashionable myelin sheath with its plasma membrane. A single oligodendrocyte sends out around 15 processes, which can wrap around multiple axons, organizing them into clusters. The cell body of the oligodendrocyte hangs out in the space between the different fibers. The myelin sheath insulates the neuron, greatly increasing the speed of the nerve impulses moving along the axon. Sweet special effects, huh? In Hollywood, Workers called craft services prepare the food for the stars, deliver it to the movie set, and cart away the leftovers. In your brain, ependymal cells perform this function for the neurons. Ependymal cells are neuroglia which form a single layer, lining the brain's ventricles and the spinal cord's central canal. These cavities are full of cerebrospinal fluid, which is made by specialized ependymal cells. Some ependymal cells have tiny cilia, which they wave back and forth to keep the fluid moving. This helps transport dissolved gases, nutrients, and wastes to and from the neurons. In other words, they deliver. The cerebrospinal fluid also provides the neurons with some nice cushioning protection. So, there you have it the four types of neuroglia in the central nervous system that support and protect your neurons. But don't forget, there are two other types of neuroglia hanging out in the peripheral nervous system just waiting for their big breaks. These are the Schwann and satellite cells, and they are the nervous system interns, working to perform many of the same functions as the CNS neuroglia, just out in the periphery. Schwann cells are the PNS oligodendrocytes, Remember the costume designer? They dress up the axons in a myelin sheath and increase the speed of action potentials. The big difference is that while one oligodendrocyte reaches out processes to wrap several axons, a Schwann cell myelinates only one axon. And rather than just wrapping one pancake foot around the axon, the Schwann cell wraps its entire body, spiraling tighter and tighter until its nucleus and cytoplasm squish out into the final outer layer, which is called the neurolemma. Schwann cells can also include segments of several unmyelinated axons to shield them from contact with interstitial fluid. In this case, the Schwann cell doesn't spiral over and over. Instead, it folds in along its membrane surface, creating parallel tubes which hold the axons. The Schwann cell tubes can hold their shape if an axon is damaged, allowing nerve fibers to regrow along the pathway. Schwann cells work alongside their fellow interns, the satellite cells. Satellite cells are similar to astrocytes in function. They don't have the astrocytes' beautiful star shape, though. They look more like flat blobs that team up together and surround the cell bodies of neurons in the PNS. Just like astrocytes, these neuroglia provide structural support 
and regulate the materials that can get to the neurons from the surrounding fluid. Oh, and one quick word of advice. Please try not to be too hard on these interns. Satellite cells are highly sensitive to injury and inflammation, and they appear to contribute to diseases such as chronic pain. So now you have it, the neuroglia, hardest working cells in show business. The microglia, astrocytes, oligodendrocytes, ependable cells, and the Schwann and satellite cells all work together to create and monitor the environment that your neurons need to function at the top level of efficiency and effectiveness. And that is worthy of an Oscar.